and welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on logarithmic functions and specifically graphing. And what I want to do is I want to see what happens if I graph the same graph of three different logarithmic functions on the same graph. So we'll start with, I'm going to change this to y. y equals log base 3 of x. I'm going to rewrite this exponentially. So a log is an exponent, so y is an exponent. This is asking 3 to what power is x. Well, if I substitute in for my y values, negative 2 is 1 ninth, negative 1 is 1 third, 0 is 1, 1 is 3, and 2 is 9. So 1 ninth, negative 2, 1 third, negative 1, 1 0, 3 1, 1 2 3 1, and 9 2. And here we have our smooth, continuous graph of log base 3 of x. All right, now let's see what happens when instead we have y equaling log base 4 of x. So this is saying 4 to what power equals x. Again, we'll put in for our y values. Negative 2 is 1 over 16. Negative 1 is 1 over 4. 0 is 1. 1 is 4 and 2 is 16. So now we have 1 16th negative 2, which is closer. It's closer to the x-axis here. Here we have 1 4th. It's closer to the y, y axis here. 1 0 is the same point. 4 1, closer to the x-axis. 16 2. So on this side we have our smooth continuous graph. And on this side, we have our smooth continuous graph. And it just kind of rotated towards the two axes. All right, for our last one, we have y equals log base 5 of x. This is asking the question 5 to what power equals x? So if we do our table of values again, negative 2 is 1 over 25. Negative 1 is 1 fifth. 0 is 1, 1 is 5, and 2 is 25. So 1 over 25th, negative 2, closer to the y-axis. 1 fifth, negative 1, closer to the y-axis, same point. 5, 1, closer to the x-axis. And 25 is not even on here, so we're going to be lower than the green line here and to the left of the green line here. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks!